Hi everyone, if you've watched my other videos, welcome back. If not, please check them out. Okay, so my last video was about six months ago and just shortly after that I had my levels tested again and I know I had promised to give an update but I wasn't too happy with the results so I waited for another blood test. Before I give you my latest results, here's a quick recap. My ferritin had been very low for the past 21 years, between about 3 and 6, and my doctor didn't really see it as a problem, likely because my hemoglobin was already in the normal range, therefore I was not anemic. For the past 18 months I've been working to raise my ferritin. 15 months ago my ferritin was 39, and then 4 months later it had gone down a bit to 36. Then 6 months later it went down again to 34. I had been taking two per day, but sometimes just one of the 18 milligram ferrous bisglycinate chelate, but after this I knew I had to step it up and started taking three per day. So then I had my levels tested again five and a half months ago and very happy, 68. So here's a summary of my levels. This is a summary of my ferritin test results over the last couple of years. In September of 2017, it was just 13. Then in June 2018, it had gone up to 38, and then down slightly to 36 in October, and then to 34 in April of 2019. This is when I started taking three per day of the 18 milligram supplement, which resulted in a ferritin of 68 in September 2019. I was also taking 500 micrograms of B12 during this time. The red bar is my target level, which is 60. At this point, experience has shown that two per day is just not enough to maintain my levels and that I need three per day in order to maintain and even raise it. I've been continuing with taking three per day since then and will be retesting again in a couple of months. My doctor told me I can even bump it up to four per day, which I might consider depending on the next test result. Okay, so now for the question that many of you has asked, have asked and that is what kind of iron supplements do I take? But first, disclaimer, this is not medical advice. Make sure you always have a blood test and consult your physician before taking any iron because having too much iron is toxic and really just not good for you. Okay, so I've mentioned that I take 18 milligrams of ferrous bisglycinate chelate, which is a compound from the brand Albion called Ferrakel. I think that's how you say it. Um, so you can get this from a few different supplement brands, but this is actually the one I use. So it's a Vitacost brand that I ordered from the US. And I actually just ordered another eight bottles of it because it is by far the most economical. Um, a lot of people comment state that they're using brand name supplements, which is fine. I'm not saying that they won't work, but for the price, you really can't beat these. So this one is $5 per bottle US, and I usually wait until it's the buy one get one half off, and then I use a coupon code also. So this bottle's gonna last me 40 days at three per day, and just under $4 US, so $5.95 Canadian, and that is 12 cents Canadian per day, so pretty cheap. So I might actually consider doing a video of comparison of the different brands, because if you're taking these daily, um, for the rest of your life, probably like I am, it will add up. So let me know in the comments if you've tried the Ferrakel and let me know if it's worked for you. Um, okay, so back to my update. My hair is definitely still coming in thicker, which is great. I do still lose a little bit of the short hairs when I wash my hair, round about 30 in the, in the bath. Um, but I've surpassed my goal uh, of 60 and hopefully I can maintain this and even raise it up to 80 and that would be perfect. So thank you very much for watching and let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!